Was it because of like the hit box? It has to do with like angling. Okay. And depth of field. Hmm. The things that I struggle with. Yes. All right, we're back with K.O. the Kangaroo. This is The Great Escape. Is that a badger? No. It's a bear. Are you sure? He's got a bear! He is the bear! <laughs> All right, so this is a chase sequence. Ooh. Similar to games like the Lego games, but originated in, I believe, Crash Bandicoot. Just got to keep moving. You grab those purple auras and you get a boost. Okay. So it's all about trial and error and uh, being aware of like what's in front of you so you know how to react. You got you to gotta act fast. Got to jump and dodge. Oh, yeah, I and would. you can't slow down or he'll catch you. I would not do okay. <laughs> what's nice is they're fairly forgiving. Like right there is a checkpoint. So it gives you a chance to... Yep. So like if I were to die, it's just like, oh, well, go back to the checkpoint. And the nice thing about KO the Kangaroo is there's not a live system here. You have unlimited lives. Okay. So you can keep trying. Yeah, that is nice. And like all of these platformers it's with trial and error, you, you learn and you get better. Yeah. The more you learn, it's I feel just like, like okay, dodge that. Yeah, jump. I feel like if there's going to be something that's challenging and fast paced and like you can't. Like, it, it's going to take very you a hard minute, to you know? do it right the first um, try without knowing what's up ahead. Yeah. I <laughs> do really appreciate. See, I jumped over the bouncer pad. Yeah. I do really appreciate that, like, it's unlimited lives. Mm -hmm. Like, as a bad platformer. Well, it's not even, um... I'm a bad platformer, not the game is a bad oh. platformer. <laughs> I was going to say, um, it's not even this level. The entire game, KO has, just doesn't have lives. Okay. Which is nice. Um, it took a while for, like, the, the classic games like Mario to get rid of the live system. In Mario Odyssey, it's coins. So yeah. when you die, you lose coins. So it's kind of like a fee for death. I think that Whereas it, I, lives well, really are like a day of the arcade. I was just going to say, I wonder if it's just like transitioning from arcades where it's like you only have so many lives because when you lose those lives, you have to put in more money. Yes. But like they already have your money when you bought a game. Like you don't give them more money if you die. Yeah. You know, so it's like, why have it? I don't know, but they lasted for quite a while because we have the NES, which wasn't the arcade. It was yeah. the first home console, Super Nintendo. Well, I mean, even Nintendo games that are made today GameCube. still have lives. Some are, you know? some do, yes. You don't get, like, unlimited lives, which I, I, I guess I'm indifferent to because I guess it gives you incentive to, like, in certain games to not die. <laughs> yeah. To um, not be so careless, because yeah. it'd be like, oh, death isn't a big deal because I just spawn right back here. Right. Whereas in other games, it's just like, oh, God. Yeah. Back to the beginning of the level, like Castlevania. Yeah. Like, you get those three lives, and you're sent back, and you're like, son of a bitch. Yeah, and you're just like, I, I want to die. Because I died. Mm-hmm. K.O. got boomerangs. Boomerang, it's all coming back to you. <laughs> all right, excuse me, Mr. B. All right, so now that we've already been through one episode, what are your initial impressions of K.O. the Kangaroo? Um, I think it's very interesting. I, I, I don't fully understand the aesthetic, I guess. Oh, okay. Like, like he's just a, a kangaroo. <laughs> like, yeah, a kangaroo with boxing gloves. Yeah. Um, yeah, which I, which I think buddies. in its own right is kind of funny because kangaroos have like small arms, mm -hmm. like all of their power, all of their threat is in their legs. So I think it's kind of funny that he would be like, this a was just from an era. And I mean, it still goes on to this day of just like, Hey, grab an animal, yeah. make it anthropomorphic. No, I think it's a cute, go. I think it's a cute game. I Personally, I just can't think too hard about it. I got you. For <laughs> me, it's just like nice and simple. Like, yeah, it is. It's short. It's um, not too complex. 
I do like how he skips every yeah. time he defeats an enemy. I he's like Woo-hoo! he's got a lot of personality. I really like that. Um, I think it does have some elements of like, well, it's a product of its time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think it could be like a really cool remake option. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but I think it still looks good. You know, for the time frame. Damn. Come on, buddy. Shoo. There we go. I'm definitely on board with what you said, though. Like, I wish the box art would be different. Yeah. <laughs> well, I showed you the box art yeah. uh, of the, the PAL Pol- region. The Yeah, the Polish. Yep, the Polish one, and I believe UK as well. And I'm just like, yeah. It's so much that's KO the kangaroo. truer to, like, what Ow, this shit. game is about. Like, I just... Oh, I see. Knock down the acorns. <gasps> there we go. But yeah, it's more accurate to like what the game's actually about. Yeah. Whereas I'll say this, at least the box arts for like American Kirby games, I mean Kirby games released in America, they still represent the game. It's just Kirby's not happy. He's got yeah. angry eyes. Get ready to meet Mr. Angry Eyes. <laughs> but yeah, I think that um, the idea and the concepts of this game are really cute and really clever. Like I said, I just, the logic side of my brain, I can't think too much about it. No problem. No, for me, I just find it a very simple one. Yeah. Nothing crazy, nothing I'm going to, um, it's... dwell on and remember, yeah. like, uh, Cl- I said K.O. Klonoa. Yeah. To where I'm just like, oh, wow, what a game. I'm glad I played it. Where it has, like, an impact. Whereas this one is just like, this it's is nice. Cute. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's very casual. Oh, crap. Um, oh, dear. But yeah, I, I think my issue, it's the same issue that I have with... Um, I almost said moss flower. Redwall? Redwall. Moss flower is the name of the second book. Yeah. Um, where it's like, I'm just having a hard time. Like, how big is this kangaroo? Is he a really tiny kangaroo, or? <laughs> and I'm like, stop it! It's well, a mean, game. We saw the pirates earlier, and, and like they were quite a bit bigger than uh, Ko. Ko's a little joey. Yeah, so I'm just like, is he a baby? Like, where's his mom? He very well, could be. <laughs> I can- think his family was kidnapped in the first game. Okay. And then you rescue them, and now you're rescuing all the other animal Cause, buddies. Because kangaroos will stay in the mom mom's pouch until they're two. Mm-hmm. So, okay. like... Okay, so we know he's at least two years old. Yeah. But it's, like, that's what my brain does. And I'm, like, just stop it. Like, yeah. it's a game. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just grab the animals and take them on a wild, wacky adventure. Yeah. And now we're platforming ah, over ah, lava. Help! The floor is lava. Uh, Quit flipping. The floor is lava. Please. It's actual lava. Blah, 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 blah. He just drowned in lava. Yes, he did. All right, and now we try again. So yeah, even though you have unlimited continues, the incentive to be like, oh, I should try better is the sporadic, not sporadic, but like spaced out checkpoints. Yeah. So they're not going to be that close. So it's going to be like, well, if I die, I'm sent back to the last checkpoint. So I got to be careful. There we go. What's nice is that if I get 50 of those stars... I get um, an ability boost. Okay. And the more I get ability boost, it makes things like even the double jump a lot easier. Nice. And we got 32 right now, so we almost got 50. Well, careful. Cheeky bastard. (laughs) Careful. Careful. I do like how our little bee firefly companion illuminates the cave. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has a, a lot of really cute aspects for sure. Well, like, when we get to the end of the game, pay attention to the credits. It's a very small team. I think, like, aside from the special thanks, there's, like, a total of, like, 20-some people on the team entirely. So, like, it's a very small team. Yeah. And, like, to see them even accomplish this much is impressive. It's got... There you go. Like, hear me out. All right. I'll... Australian Alice in Wonderland vibes. Okay. Like the tiger fish. Yeah. And like the just the sizes oh my and like God. the the running Damn. like 
The TNT stick. Yeah. <laughs> like the anthropomorphic things. Help! Okay, hang on. I'm pretty sure I gotta, like, guide the TNT stick. Okay, here we go. Come here, you. No, it detonated. Okay, so I gotta guide the TNT stick to that crystal so it can shatter, but it can't hit any of the rocks. Nope. Come on, TNT stick. I feel like it... Come here, little guy. Yeah, yeah it has there to be, like, go. closer to you. Ah! Oh, it hit that little bump. Come on, come on, come on. He exploded. Go, go, go. There it is. Nice. Alrighty, there we go. And that was the end of that level. Next up, the Great Trees. So there's three levels and a boss level. Okay. And I think there's a total of five worlds. I really enjoy those little gnomes. Yeah? The, like, bad guys that are just gnomes. With their big-ass hammers? Yes. My one boss is obsessed with gnomes. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Oh, no. Careful. Those hot air balloons are firing bombs at us. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you, got, you got, like, a fun Indiana Jones thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Do a barrel roll. Careful, careful. Ah, not Bobby, not Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right, careful. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now we got a gnome down here waiting for us. Excuse me. Nice. I gnome what you did last summer. <laughs> The hit detection isn't as awesome as other platformers, but it does get the job done. Okay. Hit detection is one of the hardest things to get, especially in a 3D platformer. It's very tricky to get right. A lot of games, especially from this era and beforehand, had difficulty getting proper hit detection. Well, is it because of, like, the hitbox? It has to do with, like, angling. Okay. And depth of field. Hmm. The things that I struggle with. Yes. And apparently many developers struggle with. <laughs> and, like, I think it also has to do with technology. Well, shit. I was like, where'd you go? Through the floor. <laughs> See those little gaps there? Yeah, oh, I yeah. fell right through them. Because right, so the bridge is catching on fire. We just got to keep on jumping, jumping. Bouncing around to tell you. Because I'm a little kangaroo. Because I'm a little roo. Help! There we go. Oh, it's getting faster. Faster, faster. We're the masters of the gym. <laughs> All right. Excuse you. So there was a review of this game that I saw. Fairly positive, but this game took a lot of influence from Rayman 2. Oh, okay. The sequel. So when I we can... get around to Rayman 2, I want you to take a look and see how many similarities you catch to K.O. the Kangaroo. Okay. Because Rayman 2 also had a pirate Oh aesthetic. my god, this definitely um, brings my childhood want to like sit in a cloud. Bounce on clouds. You can't stand on them for too long. They'll disappear. Nice. All right. Excuse me. See, like, he jumps out of the way with my combo, and I'm yeah. just like, ah! Sometimes I swing and I miss. <laughs> a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, yep. Okay. Oh! Darn you. I just want to sit on a cloud. <laughs> okay. What else we got here? Another no. Excuse me. You'd think with that giant hammer he'd knock the boards out from under him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Just be like. <laughs> Sounds like a wily e. coyote cartoon. Crunch. Just grab one of those signs. Yikes. This is like my desired aesthetic though. Treetops? Is like woodland fairy gnomes and Okay. I just love... Just this level or the whole world so far? I feel like just this level so far. This level in the treetops. I like this. Flutter. Oh. I got a fluttering helmet. Yay. Just grabs him by the head. Yep. 
you tap the A button repeatedly and you flutter for a bit. And it'll take you to the next cloud. Okay. Okay, that symbol up there means I can't adjust the camera. Okay. Every once in a while the camera is just like, nope. It just does what it does. Yeah. This is very common in a lot of older games. Like the camera, sure it's free, but sometimes they actually get, can get stuck. Okay. At certain angles, and you just gotta wait until you like get at a different angle so the camera readjusts. Okay. Okay, nice. Oh, crap. All right. Nine more and we get our power up. Eee! Not the bees! <laughs> Not the bees! Oh my god. Ah! I love Come on, bees. you. There we go. Clunk. Aww. Gotta do it. Gotta get those stars. Poor bees. No, they're bad. They're I a, mean. I have a bee tattoo. Yes, you do. It's on my knee. Because I'm the bee's knees. See he. Tee he. <laughs> Tee he. Tee he he he. Okay. Whoop. Spider. Yup. We got spiders. Why is it always going Because be of course spiders? we do. They'll come down and just spit poison at you. They're pretty quick. But nothing a good boomerang can't take out. Excuse me. Thank you. One shot with a boomerang is all it takes. Like, are we the jerk for invading the gnome's houses? No, because they're in cahoots with the hunter. Okay. And they're tormenting I don't know our why animal that, buddies. Yeah, I don't know why that's always, like, it seems to be important to me <laughs> for unknown reasons. Like, okay, the our- third generation! <laughs> <laughs> like, ever since Trials of Mana, I'm just like, whoa, like, we're the asshole just going into their home and killing them. Like, So do you only feel like an asshole because the enemy is cute? No. Or, because, like, in some games, like- they're ferocious, but it's just like, yeah, but isn't this still your turf? I, Because that's what I think of. Because even in, like, sorry, everybody who's watching all of our uh, playthroughs. But in Ease, mm -hmm. there are moments where it's like, don't disturb the primordials. Like, avoid yeah. them. So there are moments where it's like, listen, this is their home. Like, just leave them alone. Mm -hmm. And then... You can, like, defend yourself. You can distract them to get away. Shit. And there are different things that encourage that. And you only start to really fight them when they start invading right. territories that aren't theirs. Yeah, when they uh, do, you do raids and they invade the camp. Yeah. So basically what's happening here is I have to pop two of the balloons, but not all three. Okay, there we go. Because it lines them all up perfectly. And then I can cross. All right, one more. Excuse me, thank you. Reminds me of the paratrooper ride. Paratrooper ride. No, wait, come back. Do you remember like? Don't shift. It, it wasn't paratroopers. Um, parasol. The giant umbrellas. Oh yeah, from uh, Kennywood. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's there anymore. But apparently they brought back the old mill. Oh, cool. That's neat. I'm going to have to check that out. Wait. Wait. All that stuff I skipped. Give me that star. Okay. Three more. What will it be? What will it be? What will our power up be? <laughs> will we find out on this episode? Oh, this is slick as shit. Oh, Lord. Whoa! Hang on. I don't think we should touch those. Oh. Help! Oh, see, I would have been Ouch. like, okay. I would have been like, oh, I would try to collect them all. <laughs> no, no, don't collect them. Please don't collect them. Jump, move, grab the heart. Help! Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stop this ride. I want to get off. Let us in. Let us in. Let me out, let me out. Let us out, let us out. Be careful, careful. Okay. Hi, Kao. You must be tired after your long trip. 
I'll take you someplace safe where you can rest. All right, Beaver, it's been a long day. All right, so in the next episode, we're going to take on the boss of World 1. Oh, yeah. We'll see you then. Toodles!